What's going on, good people? Harlem 19, King Fitch, whatever. I have also I have so many nicknames over the years. But the fact of the matter is, I'm just here at uh, one of my favorite parks where I live. Uh, it's rare. I don't think I've actually ever uploaded a video of me just chatting in the park here. This will just be a couple minutes due to the amount of space I have. But um, just want to talk about life, you know, what I've been up to, checking on everybody. And my whole deal with uh, YouTube and things that are happening as of late, it's nothing to be alarmed about necessarily. It's just for me to have the fan base, the subscribers building that I do, it's, it's alarming to me because I've been on YouTube since 2010. And for me to jump from a subscriber to 70, it literally happened over the span of 10 years and now I'm close to 400 subs and you know people are like ah 400 whatever but for me that's a blessing it's you know my goal is to make it to a thousand so I can try to become monetized even though the YouTube game the business the way things work I'm still learning all of that you know this was never a dream or anything like that I've always loved to make videos mess around with memes as of the last five or so years when it became you know, popular. It not necessarily had to be popular with me, but if I find something, you know, I'm gonna save it to my phone, post it on Twitter, from Facebook, etc. But my whole point is, for the matter is, excuse me, my mouth's a little dry, it's a little cold out here right now. It's not East Coast cold, but you know, in California, cold is still cold. It's a blessing to be in the position that I am to continue to grow with my channel you know, I've come a long way rapping in my aunt's <laughs> uh, room that I stayed in for three years as a teenager I stayed in her room and she sacrificed for me took care of me and my younger siblings and helped us grow and I eventually got my own place so you know the transitioning in social media I've come let me see I've been on Twitter since April 2009 I have a little under 2,700 followers. I follow a little bit under 2,690, something like that. I, my God, I can chat on Twitter. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no shock there. I'm sitting at 378 plus, almost 379 tweets. I love the numbers behind it, you know. Even though Facebook, Twitter, Google, Yahoo, when it was really popular with AOL... I mean, AOL was its own thing, you know. We go, but you got mail and all that. I grew up in that era, 2007, my high school years. I'm almost 30 years old. And about a little bit of, over a month, I turned 30 next month, December. And it's just incredible how far social media has come. But it can also be very dangerous. So take it from somebody who's been hacked a few times on Facebook. Make sure you make long passwords, something you can remember. Set the password as... A contact in your phone via maybe a Google account. I know it sounds silly. Set it in a phone for Google or whatever account to protect yourself from Facebook theft. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, this way you don't have to actually remember it in your head or write it down in a notebook. Something more hard copy, more concrete. This way you don't get your information. Something very private, very personal, blown out of proportion or taken into the world. But as far as that goes, it's just a matter of, you know, growing, uh, evolution, uh, changing the way you make videos and things. I'm learning how to video edit. It's tricky. You know, I'm, I've am i still got ways to go. Just because I'm 29, it doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying, that I know how to do all this video stuff. For me, it's a matter of, you know, certain angles and a perspective of how you make a video. But the whole point is... I'm very appreciative for those people who are currently subscribed to me. And I'm going to continue. <laughs> Damn near post every day. I can't help it. You know, I, the election has definitely blossomed, given, blossomed and given us quite a lot of memes. So I had to get it in with those, you know, screen record and kind of take. I'll say take. 
actual content from people who have TikToks. But I'm not a fan of TikTok necessarily. I'm not a fan of where it's going, even though there's positive, there's positivity for it. And there's also negative energy towards that. I'll just keep taking their videos and put them on my channel until somebody sends me an email saying I can't. If, if YouTube has a problem, I'll delete it. It's not that serious. I damn near have almost 1,500 videos anyway the last 10 years, or at least I'm hovering around maybe 12, 1,300. I don't know the exact number. I have to actually go on my Google. I'm kind of curious now just to see where I am. But the point is, you know, this is a beautiful park that I'm at. I hope here every Mondays with the IQ ballers, you know, those boys, my boys, Anthony, GQ, and the fam. And they got their channel, show them love. I'm always going to continue to help them grow as well because, you know, I know, I've known Anthony, he's one of the four guys for damn near five years since I moved out to this part of California. And, you know, he came out here, his mother was talking smack to me and my friend, you know, we gave it to him. And he's gotten so much better, like me and him can match up pretty equally now. And that's an honor for me to say to him. And he would appreciate me saying that because I'm a veteran. This is pretty much my park. I've beaten hundreds of people at this park, whether it's five on fives, one on ones, 21, team games, king of the court, around the world, horse, pig, Kobe, you know, Utah, where you go to 100 by fives. It's the East Coast game that we played called Utah. I grew up playing that as a teenager in uh, Bedford, Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. I live in Stanislaus County. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from New York, 22 years, born and raised, but I lived in California almost seven years. And uh, the next three or four days makes my seven year anniversary since I left Bedford. Uh, I think I was in Crown Heights. I was like that borderline between Bedstuy, Crown Heights, and that neighborhood. I lived in Brooklyn three times in my whole life, my two decades plus in New York City. So, you know, I've come a long way as far as growth. But um, I thank you very much, everybody, for subscribing. Be blessed. Stay warm. Don't forget to mask up.